When it comes to making sure your food is safe, the new agency is taking over regulations. So Fox Carolina Investigates is looking at how inspections can improve. Because as one upstate family found out, they can be the difference between life and death. And Fox Carolina's Grace Runkles breaking down the trail of complaints leading up to and following a deadly dinner in Greenwood. Well, we looked at a lawsuit which alleges that on September 19th, 2020, John Laughlin, you see right here, picked up food from the International Cafe in Greenwood. It was fried rice and chicken wings for him, his wife, and his sister-in-law to share. Hours later, all three were sick, and the next day, Laughlin was dead. We filed a Freedom of Information Act request and uncovered these 19 complaints were filed with the state about International Cafe and customers getting sick. The most recent from just months ago. A chain of complaints detail ongoing issues at International Cafe. Our Freedom of Information Act request uncovered that between March 2020 and August this year, 19 complaints reporting an illness were filed with the Department of Health and Environmental Control. One on March 29th, 2020. Another in August. Then in September, a total of 15. Nine of those on a single day. September 19th, the same day John Laughlin ate at International Cafe. According to a lawsuit filed by Laughlin's surviving wife against the International Cafe, the rice Laughlin ordered had been left sitting at room temperature for far too long and was contaminated with a bacteria that can cause food poisoning. Earlier this year, International Cafe settled the lawsuit for $825,000. Laughlin's attorney saying, quote, we hope no one else will lose a loved one due to the failure to follow basic food procedures. But DHEC inspections show there have been more issues at International Cafe. In June 2022, another person reported getting sick after eating there. The following day, DHEC inspected and found hand washing violations. Still, the restaurant got an A. In April this year, another person reported getting sick. DHEC inspected and found managers lacked proper certification for handling food. They also noted issues with hand washing, citing it as a repeated violation. Again, they got an A, and that stayed in place until they closed in September, according to business filings. On July 1st, 2024, the Department of Agriculture will take over food safety. That includes restaurant inspections. There's a lot of um, uh, policies and practices and uh, uh, standard operating procedures that we're going to look at and address. Derek Underwood oversees consumer protection with the department now. Next year, he'll handle restaurant inspections, too. We asked if the Ag Department will be changing grading guidelines, implementing stricter penalties. He says they can't comment on that yet, but told us they'll be taking a look at giving inspectors more power in the field. A lot of policies and procedures in place that actually will assist our food safety officers in the field to be able to make uh, uh, determinations and take actions. Again, the International Cafe is closed permanently, but we did reach out to their attorneys and they tell us they are pleased a settlement was reached, saying that it was fair for everyone involved and that they wish the Laughlin family the best in the future. Live in the studio, Grace Runkle, Fox Carolina News. And coming up in the next half hour, our exclusive one on one interview with the Department of Agriculture official who's taking over those restaurant and space safety inspections you just heard from. Find out what change you'll be able to see before you even walk through the doors of a restaurant. And